Hi folks, this is every game from the 10MG bundle, a fantastic new collection of short games full of genre bending surprises, all by different people. I buy these games on Steam or Itch, either as a bundle or individually for a couple of dollars each. And given the nature of these games, to show too much is to spoil the fun, so I'll only show the start of each game. Uh, but if you like my Ludum Dare coverage, you'll feel at home here. No loops. I am going away. I am going away. Always Down is a platformer, Metroidvania style game that seems straightforward, but will make you go, hang on, um, something's a bit weird here. Uh, but the ending here is particularly laugh out loud funny. Um, it's not a particularly difficult game, I mean, none of these are, um, but it does offer. Ooh, ow! <laughs> it does offer increasing challenge as it goes, with loads of checkpoints. Through the door, and down into a slightly different area. Ow! We're still on. Fa oh my god! <laughs> We're still on the fairly straightforward bit, but um, as I say, as it goes, it gets more and more um, weird and unsettling. Cover Me in Leaves is a sombre, reflective and unsettling short story about a girl who wants to leave her small town. I can't do this justice here, but the mood is held pitch perfect throughout, and in its short runtime, explores themes of sexuality, loneliness, the terror of the ordinary and not so ordinary, and the meaning of home. You were such a soft and round kitten, you were just so soft and round. So this is a weird and cute metroidvania um, that's also weirdly intense and with an undercurrent that you're really at an illegal rave and the music has finally got to you so bad that you're huddling in the corner of the tent, thinking you're a cat. So it starts with a mischievous timer that locks you out of the game, although you can be mischievous yourself and try to get rid of that, but unfortunately no can do. So finally it turns into a game where you need to find helpful kittens, flip switches, collect the letters of kitten and escape this soft round kitten world. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Climb to the sky with ladder. Alright. A cursed ladder will ruin you. So now you actually have to press up to go down. And this is a regular ladder, so let's go over this direction. And unfortunately there's no gravity. Hello, black cat. Are you evil? Activate me, peasant, and fall down! Yeah, that sounds like her. And now we can finally drop to this new door. So as I say, it is technically a Metroidvania. There are switches and puzzles and all sorts of things. It's just bloody mad, is all. <laughs> Locked In is a two-player game where you each play one half of the marriage, set during the first wave of Covid-19 in the UK. A one player uses keyboard to advance the story, the other player the mouse. At first, the game gives each player a motivation and some backstory on how to act, with the other person closing their eyes for the duration of that, and I'm not going to show that here. And essentially, it's two parents arguing over the best way to parent, and seeing whether you can come to an agreement despite having different goals. And there's a lot of swearing. Oh, lads. Grace walks into the kitchen, that's their kid. You hear the iPad left between videos on the sofa. Stay home. Protect the NHS. Save lives. We have to do something. This isn't going anywhere away anytime soon. Nah, probably isn't. So you might be able to detect this is heading towards um, an argument, a furious argument, <laughs> uh, which is how the game uh, progresses. It's a fascinating little idea, this. Stroke is another game that's mainly about the story, as you rush to hospital with your family after your wife has a stroke. Now, this game made me feel something despite my heart being cold and knackered, so treat that as an endorsement if you can. This game is called Smiley Face, or maybe Colon Bracket, a game I played without reading the description and I'm very glad I did because this game evolves its way through a series of different classic video games, and each drama swap is done in such a clever way that it's generally funny, um, and each game makes you think differently about how to play and win them by overcoming your long-held understanding of each game. It's truly excellent, even if it does seem a little bit janky, it's actually really clever. And I also discovered this is by Tocado, whose Ludum Dare games I always enjoy and cover in those videos. So at the moment I'm, I'm just basically feeding the white bar at the top with all the, the bricks that I'm collecting with my uh, white ball. Oh! And suddenly it's Pong! Or is it? <laughs> so you see uh, all about twists and weird... Um, it's almost like, almost like a puzzle game, see what... Trying to, actually trying to work out what the hell is going on. It's really rather cool, I love this. This is Handmade Death Labyrinth Issue Zero, a crunchy little dungeon crawling game that is some kind of roguelike metroidvania, I guess, in which dying makes you stronger and your first task is to defeat a wizard that grants you five one-use powers. Just dub that little cockroach. Uh, so let's try and do that and get to the wizard little boss thing. I've only got 100 health points at the moment. Oh god, I just had to run past some, I think, indestructible horrible lads. Anyway, um, we're going to run from this cockroach. There's a bit of a puzzle element about this as you try to work out what the hell things actually are. 
I could actually defeat that cockroach, so I'll do that. But I don't, I don't know if I can defeat those lads, so I find it's just best to run the hell out of here. And here's the, the wizard of five things. We, we, we want his powers, we do. I am the wizard of five things. All right, prepare yourself. Stab! Right, so each of his five powers do something different, and we need to make sure that we pay attention to these because we'll be inheriting the powers. Huh. So the red one explodes. Oh, the pink one, go. Stab. The blue one is all, oh dear. Ooh, the blue one is a, a scatter thing. But I've defeated him. I have not defeated him. Ow. Ooh. I thought I defeated him. Turns out, no. You had a nightmare about a wizard hero. I can help you learn from your failures. If only you come talk to me. I'll do, let's do that then. I'll increase your maximum HP by 80. Huh. That certainly makes things easier. He's got his powers back from the crystal. However, he just seems to have blown himself up. <laughs> There's foreshadowing. Oof! I suppose this makes you the hero of five things. Ha ha ha. I now, once I've been zapped, have the power of stuff! So I can do everything that he can. Well. <laughs> and from there on, you can solve puzzles. I'm using that ability. Slasher Interrupted is a fun visual novelette about a girl telling a campfire horror story, but interrupted by her girlfriends. There's some interaction here as the girls attempt to steer the story in different directions. The three of them settle down, Rosie and Ellie on a blanket and Caroline in the camp chair next to it. The campfire illustrates their faces with flickering orange light and shallow, stark and sinister and otherwise cheerful expressions. You clear your throat and continue where you left off. Okay, so you see something out the corner of your eye. Whatever it is, you can't make it out before it disappears. Squinting at the darkness, you make your way down the street to the house. Disappearing behind a tree, you see a kitty! Aha, what? It's not going to be a cat. Well, what do you think it is? If it were me, it'd be like an old Halloween decoration that would make you jump. It feels like the girls are trying to lead you towards three different stories. Click a character speech bubble to continue. Let's go for st Let's go for stab. A wicked blade flashes in the dark. Nice! Sealed Estate is another deliberately disorienting game. In this one you have to escape a house that soon becomes kinda scary. It starts out uh, at a breakneck pace and settles into an exploration game where torchlight can help you progress. Yes, there's another unsettling game in the bundle. Um, and one for people who like piecing stuff together from things they find in the world. Just gotta grab the keys. Grab the wheel! Uh-oh. Okay. Careful. There we go! <laughs> right, come on. Straight on. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> High five. Right, here we go. Yeah! Not going to drive again. Anybody here? Hey, did you know your door is open? Hello? Can I come in? Okay, I'm stepping inside for a split second. The wind is getting stronger for some reason. Who locked the door? Why is it so dark in here? Ooh. Oh my god. Something is pounding on that door. Let's run for it. Ooh. This is Snack, which at the time of making this video isn't quite out on Steam yet, so this is the short trailer. Uh, but it's a Snake Metroidvania, which should be all you need to know to want to play it. And that's what you'll get in this endlessly inventive little bundle. I recommend plumping for the full package because the games add up to more than the sum of its parts, and it does what indie is supposed to do. Be weird, be unsettling, be hilarious, be different. So if you like small inventive games, check out my Ludum Dari 47 playlist. The link is in the description and on screen. Otherwise, maybe subscribe to Randomize User for more of the best indie games out there. See ya!